All right, good morning. Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're here. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader. I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Glad you stopped by this morning. If this is your first time, uh, glad you made it. I hope that you uh, enjoy the channel. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, but uh, we're going to have to jump in right away this morning. We had a really good live stream last night. Did a lot of teaching, a lot of very in-depth um, TA uh, right in front of you. Uh, really, really good to watch to understand the process of uh, learning how to uh, analyze the market. Uh, did answer a lot of questions. It was just a really, really good time. I suggest that you watch it if you, especially if you're wanting to learn how to do what I'm doing. Um, that's one of the things I'm trying to do on this channel. Uh, just a couple of things. We've got a, a Facebook group. You're, you're welcome to. It's called the Litecoin Swing, Light, the Litecoin Swing Trading Community. Um, it's uh, we don't only trade Litecoin there, but uh, certainly it's a community of traders where. Um, excuse me, I got a yawn coming. All right, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to greet you with a yawn this morning. <laughs> Uh, if this is your first time here, that's a, that's a thing here. So sorry about that. Uh, I try not to, but uh, it is what it is. I've got to get this out. Now this is probably the third time I've tried to start this video. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, if you don't mind. All right, if you could just listen past that. All right. Uh, so anyway, invite you to the Litecoin Swing Training Community. Also, um, we have a Telegram group as well. That is for my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys uh, for, to my Patreons who are supporting me in this endeavor and what I'm doing. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you'd like to support me in the Patreon group, we'd like glad for you to be a part of the telegram group as well um, just join patreon i'll send you a link for the telegram group you get private uh, private help charts uh, that uh, others don't get as well as uh, uh, nightly updates uh, and and all kinds of extra extra help in the trading i do share my trades when i see them and uh yeah so uh that's uh, something you might get there so anyway love for you to be a part of that group uh, feel free to join okay let's jump in we're gonna look at ltc btc and ethereum uh, I did a lot of uh, macro counting last night, uh, so we're going to look at the micro. Uh, we're going to look at the micro today just to see what's going on. I do need to give you a little context here. This is uh, this is Bitcoin here. So on the four-hour chart, uh, this is either I, I know that's uh, that was from some teaching last night. So sorry about that. Um, um, let's see. Let's get this off the chart here there we go uh, my count just to be clear with everybody my count right now I believe this is a WXY uh, correction but there's two possibilities so uh, WXY everything has to have three waves okay so we got ABC ABC uh, now we need uh, another one more ABC to the downside that ABC is going to look something like this a uh, that's not correct uh, a B and C like that. Uh, this is an expanded flat as a correction. It that expanded flat may or may not be finished. Okay, uh, so uh, what uh, what what are we looking at here as far as uh, the count is concerned? Uh, where we are? Well, I'm looking for eventually here. I need five waves to the downside for the C leg of C. Uh, if if I'm correct, if I'm correct, that's a big if. Okay, but I'm not sure if this uh, ABC is finished. Uh, so that's the other big question mark here. Okay, so uh, this C wave needs five waves. Okay, I see five waves there, but uh, market makers can be tricky here. This could be one, two, three. This is four, and we're going to go up for five. One more wave to the upside. Still looking at potentially an 11,200 to 11,400 target. Let's pull the fibs on that guy just to see. So to uh, pull the fibs on that target there, just to make sure, remind myself I'm correct about those. Let's to the top there, to the bottom there. And yeah, 11,000 as a potential hit, uh, as well as uh, 11,300. So yeah, you know, we still have a potential to go up here. I don't think we're heading up there. That's I, I don't think we're going that high. I In fact, uh, in fact if I draw this trend line... Um, See if I can get it there. There we go. If I draw this trend line just like that, uh, we only wick through there. We get a lot of touches there. Uh, that look, looks like a fantastic way to draw the trend line. So it could be done. Uh, and we're heading down there.
Now, another potential uh, play with the market makers, I mentioned this last night as well, is this could be indeed one, two, three, four, and this fifth wave actually breaks the barrier of, of this trend line, which is going to make it look like it's going up and, and a breakout. And if that happens, this will most likely be a bull trap and then just be on, on, on its way down. So that would be our A, B, our C would finish up here and like that. Let me tell you what that looks like potentially. Uh, if that's the case, which is just something I'm seeing as a potential market maker play, you see $11,186 in that ballpark. So a break of this trend line. Now, let's take a look at this wave right uh, here a little bit more carefully. Let's see what we have here on the, on the micro. Uh, I see five waves here to the downside, five waves here to the downside. So what we would expect is, uh, if that's five, we've got three to the upside, we would expect five waves uh, to start on the downside. I think we're getting that. In fact, uh, here, let me just zoom out just a hair, because get more on the screen. There we go. Uh, potentially, what we have here, possibly, uh, I keep using that potentially. Sorry, guys. I just uh, one, two. Uh, three, four, five. I mean, we could be heading down just like that. Um, this could be the one wave. That could be two. And this could be one, two of the third wave. Okay. So, uh, it's not unlikely. of the fibs on this guy see what we get if it's corrective if this is just an ABC and we're heading up from from here uh, we should be looking at targets at ninety eight hundred dollars to ninety six twenty five if it is not corrective and impulsive we need this wave uh, to come on down to ninety three sixty eight if this wave comes on down today or tomorrow uh, to ninety three sixty eight uh, then you should expect uh, this to be an impulse and we are we are heading down um, but that 93.68 is right here at this trend line, uh, so be careful about market maker plays around that trend line. Okay, uh, so yeah, this is what we're really what we got to do is just wait and kind of watch here, um, wait and watch. I'm going to zoom into the about the three minute chart and just look at this last wave that was formed. I want to show you something in this last wave that was formed. You really couldn't see this wave detail on the higher time frames, and so you had to kind of come look. If I just throw the fibs there. Uh, to here, I want to show you something. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got a, a, C, a three wave down. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five. This is an ABC as far as I can tell um, because it, it, it barely wicked up to the one six one eight. It's really more uh, at the one two seven six substantially there. My guess. Now here's 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 what could happen. Okay, if we get if this is one, if that's two, three, four, and five. If we get something that closes up here above 10,500, then that's an impulse. We should expect three waves to the downside and then more impulse to the upside, okay? So watch for that wave. Watch for this wave here. See what it does. If it comes up here past 10,533, then it's actually an impulse and not corrective. However, if it goes down, if it starts continuing down to this region, uh, you know, uh, from here, uh, and then retraces a little bit, and then it could continue down from there, okay? So realize that about this particular wave, that uh, this could simply be a corrective wave, and we still have more downside to go. So uh, that's what the micro is looking like. And so what we're just going to have to do is wait and see what we get here, guys. But those are your potential plays. That's what we're looking at. I personally am seeing the move to the downside. Uh, however... Uh, what I believe could always be wrong, and I always just want to offer that as a caveat um, so that uh, you, you're not thinking. I don't want to act so confident that I really, really am not, uh, don't prepare you for the opposite because, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm never so biased in my count that I believe something so heartily that I don't consider any other possibilities as a trader because as a trader, I need to be ready to be wrong so that I can know what to do with my money uh, as the market. Um, I might have a bias and I might have a plan. But I need to be ready for the alternate scenarios, okay? All right, so that's what I'm seeing in Bitcoin right now. Let's take a peek at Litecoin. Uh, man, Litecoin is a lot harder of account. So much harder. It's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm still thinking Litecoin probably needs a push up to 73. 
uh, I'd probably like to see it for some symmetry. Uh, for, so 73.32 to 76 dollars. I don't know why every time I measure that I get something different. Dag on it. <laughs> I, I I keep getting different numbers every time I do it. So let me be as precise as I can be. There we go. 73.10, 75.86. Those are your two targets here for LTC. I kind of feel like it needs to come up there to finish out this correction. Uh, that this is just a just a bunch of blah blah shenanigans there. But this looks like a one two three four five wave potentially. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's just jump into this wave and see what that looks like on the micro uh, scale just to see what, how that's measuring. That looks impulsive to me, but uh, i just looking at it, but I'm not sure what it's going to measure here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it came up to the 1618. It wicked through it. Uh, it did not close beyond it. So uh, even on the three minute. Uh, so <laughs> it's just like Litecoin. There we got one, two, three, four, five waves uh, there. But um, or we have one, two. That's three. This could be four. Have a fifth wave. So here's what we're waiting for on uh, Litecoin as well. If you see this. Okay, and, and then you get a close up here somewhere. Look for a three-wave pullback, okay? I don't know how deep that'll come, probably to this structure zone right there. Look for a three-wave pullback, maybe 50% of that move. Uh, so whatever 50% of the whole move is, look for, look for a pullback. And a continuation. Um, look for a continuation on up. Now, uh, this fifth wave, the fifth wave could be extended, and it could just go on up here to $73, $73 and, that's, and, and then it finishes the wave like that. So it could be this, something like that. And if we get that, you know, that might finish this correction out. Uh, if we get anything else other than that, then we're going to have to reconsider the count, obviously. But my bias is that uh, we, we probably have to come on up here. We don't have to come up here. OK, uh, we don't have to come up there, but uh, this is looking pretty corrective. I think uh, it's w, it, this looks like a finished WXY. The only problem I had was it just didn't measure very well, if I remember right. Let me check it out here. I don't remember it measuring very well. Yeah, it came down to the 786. I was really expecting it to come down to $67 there to finish out this. But I see five waves here. Um, it looks like a, you know, it looks like basically a flat, guys, uh, right here. Um, yeah, but this is really odd right here for sure. I guess it's a WXY, but how does that measure? That measures better as a WXY. Yeah, um, WXY is uh, ABC. I taught this last night, so uh, WXY is going to be ABC, ABC, ABC. Okay, that measures better as a WXY, so that might indeed be the case. This does look like an impulse wave. Um, looks like we're going to get that upside that we were looking for uh, the other day. So be careful about that. That looks like it's coming. Let's take a peek at Ethereum as well. If uh, we're getting upside in Litecoin and potentially in Bitcoin, um, let's see, sorry, let me... Um, I forgot to mention something in Bitcoin before I get to Litecoin. So uh, we have, uh, I, I said watch, uh, did I already say it? Maybe I did. Yeah, watch the 11,000, uh, watch uh, 11,100 uh, in that ballpark there. So I, I, I wasn't sure if I said that or not. I was just wanted to make sure. Watch, I think it was 11,186. Yeah, I did say it. All right, sorry about that. Um, all right, uh, Ethereum, uh, same deal here. We've got an impulse wave to the upside. Uh, it's looking a little bit more clear, though, to be honest with you. It's already it's already kind of shown itself. Um, so that's that's really good. Um, this was impulsive. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this this wasn't a very deep correction. Um, where did it, where did it come down to? I haven't even looked at Ethereum, so this is on the fly, guys. Came down to the three eight two. So uh, chances are this was the 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 third wave. Uh, excuse me, the fourth wave. Uh, that didn't break the plane there. So this was the fourth wave. This is one two. Or it looks like we're getting a three wave. Yeah, really tough, tough way to count that, guys. Really tough way to count that. I, 
I still see uh, Ethereum needs to come on down one more time, just like Litecoin needs to come on one down in the macro count. I think Bitcoin needs to come down. I think they all need to come down. At least one uh, one more wave. So yeah, I'm looking at a target of 190, 191 uh, for Ethereum to finish out this correction, and that would be basically be you know you got this right there, w, you know ABC. Uh, if we end up hitting at 198, uh, if this ends up coming on up here to 198, then we're looking potentially impulsive, and so it's look for a pullback and then another uh, wave to the upside, unless we get an extended wave, and that's highly likely as well. So be careful about that. So watch 198. That's going to be our invalidation point for an impulsive wave uh, for that okay all right um, so yeah watch this wave here watch 191 that's uh, my potential upside target there uh, but I'm looking down guys I'm looking down uh, and uh, we need to see a wave down I want to start I want to see that wave coming down before I give you down, uh, targets to the downside because it's been a, a really really confusing place in the chart Okay, you guys have a fantastic day. I've got a lot more to say, but I said a lot last night. So why don't you go ahead and uh, just take a peek at the live stream last night. It's really going to help you. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic Tuesday. Bye-bye.